Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Shasta Phoenix Light 276 RL. This is a great couples coach. Let's go ahead and start on the outside here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. So one of the first things you'll notice is the fiberglass front cap right here. Uh, you do have a nice light there, so if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you have a little bit of extra visibility, and it gives it a nice little flare at night. Also, this does have turn point technology where it's concave right here, so that way as you're turning your pickup truck, you have a little bit extra room so you can turn a little bit sharper without blowing the back window out of the pickup. So we take a look underneath here can see the front storage compartment. You can see that right there. It is nice and clean, which is great. Uh, over to the side there, you do have the battery box. Um, and then of course, that is vented out right up top here. A light uh, right here as well. So if you do need to, again, hook up or disconnecting at night, you can see what you're doing. And then the uh, controls for your landing legs are right underneath. Moving around to the side propane tank right here. You have one 30 pounder on this side as well as one 30 pound tank on the other side as well for 60 pounds of propane. Pass through storage, you'll notice it is a covered hinge on there. Also magnetic latch makes it very easy so that way you don't have to worry about uh, any kind of latches or anything breaking off, the wind catches it or if you accidentally close it. If you take a look right in there though, it is good storage. Uh, you have a light over here to the side on both sides, so if you do have to get in there at night, you can. And then you can see the aluminum framing in there as well. Uh, let's talk quickly about that aluminum framing. So this actually has a very unique construction method. Uh, what is, basically, it's built like a house. So what it has, it has your studs 16 inches on center, but it's all aluminum studs. Then in between, they have your fiberglass, but what, sha or what the Phoenix does different than a lot of other manufacturers is they also have a layer of astrofoil in there. So a lot of manufacturers will put that in the roof and in the floor, but nobody's putting it in the wall. So that's a huge advantage, definitely helps with your insulation properties. Uh, this does, it is slam latch, so you just drop it like that, it goes ahead and shuts nice and easily too. Right here's electrical outlet, you have dual electrical outlet, two separate doors, which is nice, that way in case it is raining, you don't have to worry about it going into the other one here, uh, but that way if you hook up an electric griddle or anything else, it is nice and easy to do so. And it's in a perfect location because look what's right above you, very large power awning, uh, so you just touch a button, that rolls out, same thing to go back in, also has an LED light strip in there, so you don't have to get up there, hang up your Christmas lights just flip a switch and you can have your light at night. Underneath the power awning are two outside speakers, so if you want to sit out here and jam out, you can certainly do so. Uh, now those are connected to the multimedia center inside, however it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can sit out here underneath that awning, go ahead and control your music from right out here. Getting into this coach is very simple. You have three steps as well as the foldable easy grab handle here. That way from the first step all the way into the coach, you have this to assist you, uh, which is great, especially if you have bad knees. Come around to the side here. Uh, if you take a look underneath, this one does have the Equiflex trail air suspension, which you can see right in between there, which helps eat a lot of the potholes when you're going down the road. Uh, also the alloy rims, which aren't gonna rust up nearly as easy on you. And it also has nitrogen fill tires for a better towing experience. And right in the back is your outside entertainment center. Go ahead and take a look at this. Same thing, this one also has magnetic latch to stay up there. You have a uh, nice shelf space up top, so if you wanna put some cups or something up here, you can certainly do that. Refrigerator for any kind of beverages. If you wanna put condiments out here, you can certainly do that as well. And a place for a TV. So you go ahead and put a TV there, you can see the hookups as well. Now, if you wanna do some cooking out here too, that's not a problem. If you take a look right underneath, you will see that there is a propane quick connect. So if you have a grill, you can go ahead and hook your grill up, be able to watch a TV, enjoy a couple beverages. That's what camping's all about. Then right over here uh, is your power jacks. You have power rear jacks, just touch a button. Those will go ahead and lower down for you. Rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the ceiling. This is a fully walkable roof on here. Uh, so that's a, a big deal as well. If you ever have to get up there for any kind of maintenance or if you need a better vantage point, you can go ahead and climb up there. And also the other big advantage of having the ladder mounted on the back, that means you don't have to bring one. Ladders take up a lot of space in your pass through storage. So having one mounted on the back is a big advantage. Spare tire back here as well. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's always nice knowing that this guy's riding right back here with you. 
and then a large rear picture window. Uh, the cool thing about that is if you're able to back up to a beautiful site, for one of the lucky ones where you have lakefront or oceanfront view, you can truly enjoy it out of that large window. Otherwise, it still lets in a ton of natural light which helps brighten up that living space. Right here is your 30 amp detachable power cord. You can go ahead and see that. And then you have your convenience center right up front. Let's go take a look at that. So on the off door side here are all the hookups. They're all conveniently located. Uh, you can see everything from your water hookups to your dumps, battery disconnect there as well, your cable inlets, black tank flush, which is cool. And of course, all the cords can drop right down here. So it's a nice clean look. That way you can still shut this side compartment. The other thing I've liked that they have done, um, you know, it's not very often that slides fail, but in the event that you do, the controllers are very easy to access. You can see these right here, which are for the two slides on this side. And what happens is if the slide ever won't go in, you can just pull two of these plugs. That will release the brakes on the slide. That way you can go ahead and push the slide in, put those two plugs back, it'll re-engage the brakes. Uh, that way the slide won't come out, obviously, while you're going down the road. So that's very convenient because if you ever do have that problem, Problem, you won't be stranded and have to call a tech on the weekend or whatever it may be. Again, just making things very easy to access. But all right, that'll wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Shasta Phoenix Light 276RL. This particular model is in the biscuit interior. Let's go ahead and start off with our slide out right over here. Uh, this does have dual opposing slide outs, makes it nice and big. On the door side right here, you will see the dinette. And one of the things I love about having a door side dinette is right there is your window so you have a nice view right out to the campsite. Also plenty of room here for four people and this table does drop down into a bed so if you do have uh, you know some guests coming over if they're uh, maybe kids it's a great spot for it or what I do personally is if you need to set up a pack and play you can go ahead drop this table down it's a great place to set up a pack and play there too. Right over here is your entertainment center, uh, Jensen TV, as well as a Jensen Multimedia Center. The reason I bring that up is manufacturers pay a little bit more for Jensen Electronics, but it is 100% worth it to you. Uh, the reason is Jensen is top name brand electronics. They're built specifically for the RV industry. They're able to withstand the shakes and vibrations from traveling down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold. So that's one less thing you have to worry about. You know that season after season, your electronics will still work. Uh, it is a 40 inch TV, so nice and big. You'll be able to see that, you know, whether you're sitting in a theater seating, the couch, cooking, wherever. And then the multimedia center here, uh, that controls the speakers outside as well as the speakers in here. It's a radio CD and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, just go ahead and pop it right in. All along the top here, you see additional storage. It has a tinted glass, very deep storage up top, which is really nice. Uh, a couple of LED lights there too. Then as you shoot underneath, a little bit shallower storage here because we have our entertainment center uh, outside on the other side, but it's still good storage there. And you have some cubby holes on either side of the multimedia center. So you move around to the back here, uh, as I showed you on the outside, large rear picture window, which is great. Some windows on the side too. Uh, the tri-fold sofa right here in the center. So a tri-fold is awesome because not only is it very comfortable to sit on, it's also very comfortable to sleep on. This will be the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. Uh, you don't have to worry about a bar on your back like your traditional pullouts. It's much larger than a jackknife, so you can actually sleep two people on here. And it's not going to deflate on you in the middle of the night like an air mat. So definitely the preferable uh, sleeper sofa. Then on both sides of the sofa, you see you have uh, end table there, which is great, storage underneath, and electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a laptop, tablet, cell phone, whatever it may be, you can go ahead and do that. All across the top, you have additional storage there as well, and LED lights underneath to help brighten up the space. Then over here, this is of course the opposing slide. As I mentioned, you have dual opposing slides in here, which is why this is such an open floor plan, even on a shorter, lighter weight coach. Um, storage across the top, again, again uh, the same tinted glass there. Window here, and dual theater seating. This is extremely comfortable theater seating. You can see you have the pillow top on here. It's great, you just sink right in. Uh, and it's also heated, how cool is that? So if it's a uh, chilly morning or night, you wanna just take the chill off, go ahead and pop on the heater. That way, uh, again, it makes you nice and warm. And you have some cup holders there in the center, but that is definitely the best seat in the house. Moving over a little further, we move into the kitchen. 
Dometic fridge freezer combo. Go ahead and open that up. You can see plenty of space in there. You have a cutout here as well if you have some taller items like, um, you know, if you have a half gallon of milk or orange juice, something like that, you have space for it there. This unit does run off of both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. So if you are running it off propane, as soon as you plug that into shore power, it'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on the propane gas. Microwave right here, and as I said, this is a lightweight unit. You can see the weights here, uh, 8,612 pounds overall, 1,550 pounds for the pin weight. Uh, so it is a very easily towable unit, which is awesome. Then right next to that, you have good uh, space in here. You can see it does have a built-in shelf, so perfect place for spices in my opinion there. Beneath that, fully functional hood with a light and a fan. You kind of have this nice decorative backsplash here, LED light to help brighten it up, and the cooktop. Uh, the cooktop cover on here is great because it adds that to prep space, but this just folds up just like so. And then it kind of doubles as a backsplash, which is really neat. So it uh, makes it nice and easy to clean because it is glass there. But three burner at wood cooktop, the front one is high output, and then you have a large oven underneath if you need to do some baking. Underneath the oven there, you can see a very large drawer. This is perfect for pots and pans. It's nice and deep. Uh, so I love when manufacturers put that in. Then next to that, good space over here. If you need a place for a trash can, that is one place you could put it there. And a nice full extension drawer here to boot. Then as you move over here, this is again a good prep space. What they have done is they have added your, or they put sink top covers on here to help utilize that as prep space, but you do have excellent uh, space right over here. Both of these sink top covers can be used as cutting boards or cutting board quality, which is nice. I personally recommend flipping them over to use them as cutting boards. The reason is, of course, you'll have knife marks in here. Then when you're done, you can flip them back over. That way one side still uh, remains looking very nice. But double bowl sink makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes and then you have the pull out oil rub bronze faucet there too. Go ahead and put those back. Uh, I kind of have a nice decorative backsplash here. Looks kind of cool with the uh, Wayne's coating there. And then electrical outlets too. So if you need to plug in electric griddle or coffee maker, toaster, whatever it may be, blender, you can go ahead and do so. All across the top, you have storage. You can see that, so nice extra storage. I like that they broke it up. They put like the, the raised panel cabinetry on the outside here, and then the glass on the inside just gives it a really nice look. And then as we go underneath, you have good storage underneath here. This one pops open. You can see this storage right there. Uh, additional storage here underneath the sink. So if you don't want your trash can there, you can also fit one here. And you see you have a shelf built in, so you can uh, have a place for all your cleaning supplies, extra trash bags, things like that. Bank of three drawers here running down. You will see this one already has a divider built in there for your silverware, which is pretty neat. Um, last things, we move around around the corner here. Uh, one quick thing you will notice, there's great storage right here too. You can see that, and this is multi-purpose. Um, you know, because if you want to use it for stuff in the kitchen, you can, or because it's right as you walk in the door, if you want to put shoes in there, you can do that too. Uh, but just a lot of uh, a lot of uses for it. Control panel here. Uh, the other thing, this one is equipped with a fantastic fan in the living room, which is really cool. Uh, so the, as I said, the controls right here, but you can go ahead and open that up if you don't want to run the AC, open a couple windows, turn that guy on, and you get some nice airflow coming through. All right, that'll wrap it up for this area. Let's head on up the stairs. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. The bathroom of the 276 RL does have two entrances and exits, one into the main living area, the other one right here into the bedroom. Then down in the corner is the foot flush lever toilet. Uh, plenty of leg room as you can see. And then up above you have the towel bar. If you take a look at the ceiling, you will see the vent, so you can vent out all the moisture in here. And then you move over into the Neo Angle shower. Uh, right up top is a big skylight, letting in a lot of natural light, giving you some more headroom. Couple of shelves there, hand wand as well. And I really like the doors on here because they're in a roller track. So that way as you open and close it, it makes sure that the water stays in the shower. It's not a swing open door where the water from the door falls all over the floor. Also, there is a magnetic strip here so it stays shut and you have the ring right here for travel. Now as we move over, you can take a look right here. This is actually a slide out, which is cool. Uh, you have a slide out wardrobe, but this part is built for the bathroom. The reason is, is a door that comes across, which closes this part off. So you have a nice linen closet right here and two full extension drawers. 
Then large um, uh, vanity here and countertop. You can see great countertop space plug in there as well. Uh, but I like this because it gives you place for you to put your toothbrush or if you have like a flattener, or curling iron, you need a place to put it, whatever it may be, you have the room to do so. Right here's your hand towel raw ring. Of course, you gotta dry your hands off. Sink there, again, oil rub bronze faucet, kind of keeping with that look throughout, which is very nice. Down below here, you have some additional cubby holes and a little storage right there underneath the sink. Right up top, here's a mirrored medicine cabinet and additional storage there. But that wraps it up for the bathroom. Let's head on in and take a look at the bedroom. The bedroom of the 276RL features a queen size bed and it does have storage underneath, very easily accessible as it is strut supported. On either side of the bed, we do have two different types of uh, storage. This one right over here is a wardrobe with hanging space there and you will notice you have a drawer underneath. The other side, however, you have a nice uh, nightstand there, a couple of drawers underneath that and an electrical outlet. So if you do have have a CPAP machine that's a perfect place for it there. Then in the headboard you can see that is lit. You have a nice shelf there, electrical outlet as well. Perfect place to go ahead and charge your cell phones. Across the top is additional storage. Vent right here up top too so that way if you need a cross breeze coming through you can go ahead and do that. TV hook up on the opposite wall so if you want to watch TV you can go ahead and do that. And then lastly if you notice right down here again you have another electrical outlet so three outlets in here. Uh, if you need a Again, if you have a CPAP machine, you want to put it on this side, you certainly can. And this, of course, is the rest of the slide-out wardrobe. You can see right there, excellent wardrobe space. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Shasta Phoenix Light uh, 276RL. This particular model is in the Biscuit interior. If you're looking for a great lighter weight coach, this is a phenomenal option. You have the outside entertainment center. It's got great residential light construction. Uh, you have the theater seating. It's extremely comfortable. Tri-fold sofa, uh, good kitchen space. It's just a, a winning coach, one you definitely need to take a look at. If you do have uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you're looking for price and availability on this coach, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see all the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.